What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So when it comes to tvOS, I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new software update. You can see here when I go into the system and then check for an update right here. We have one that's available and it's tvOS 18.3 with the build number 22K6557. Now you notice that this version doesn't have a beta. That's because this is the release candidate version or the RC version, a potential release build. So that's why you see it as a sort of a final build basically. So I'm quickly going to download it and install it on my Apple TV. It's going to take a couple minutes, but while we're doing this, I want to show you another tvOS update that was recently released by Apple. This is tvOS 18.2.1 was released, uh, I think last week on January 16th, and it had to resolve some synchronization issues for the Apple TV. I wasn't able to test it out because it's very minor. But then you can see today alongside this, Apple released WatchOS 11.3 RC. We have VisionOS 2.3 RC. And of course, we have tvOS 18.3 RC. We have macOS 15.3 RC and iPadOS 17.7.4 RC. For select iPads, we have iPadOS 18.3 RC and iOS 18.3 RC. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to stay up to date, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now I'm quickly going to just finish updating my Apple TV and then we are going to see some of the new changes that this software has to offer. Just like that, my device is now up to date. You can see when, when I go into the settings right here and then go to where it says system on the bottom and software update it's now up to date as you can see right there and you can see the new build number that we have it's 22k557 updated build and that's with tvOS 18.3 and one of the new things that's here with tvOS 18.3 if you are coming from tvOS 18.2 you when you go to the what's new tab instead of showing you a breakdown of what's new it's now going to show you the screensaver tab and if they are specifically going to mention Snoopy, as you can see, and it says Snoopy is here introducing our most adorable screensaver yet. See all our screensavers, including areas, portraits, and memories. And yes, Snoopy is still available on here. If I go all the way back and then uh, press the back key just like this, and then swipe up on my Apple TV, you can see Snoopy for some reason had a little bit of a blackout, but you can see it's it's now showing up if I select Snoopy you can see they are doing different animations and the transition is actually pretty cool if you don't see Snoopy on your Apple TV that's because while Snoopy works great for me on this tvOS 18.3 it was introduced on tvOS 18.2 but the device support or the Apple TV models that support Snoopy are in fact the Apple TV 4k second gen and Apple TV 4K third gen, anything other than the Apple TV 4K second gen is not going to get Snoopy. So if you don't see it, it's not because of your profile or your beta or anything like that. It's probably maybe if you don't have the Apple TV 4K second gen or newer, then that's why you are not seeing Snoopy. Also, according to the code in tvOS 18.3, you can see that we have a new digital sales notice that will eventually soon pop up once it's initiated. And this one will basically tell you that when you purchase access to this item, you can permanently download it to your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or PC, which is interesting that PC is mentioned. And then it says once downloaded, you can access this without an internet connection. And and Apple can't remove it from your device. If you purchase this from the Apple TV app on Apple TV, smart TVs or other streaming devices, you can't download it on those devices, but you can easily download it on compatible devices. Within the code of this tvOS 18.3, it seems to suggest that Apple is adding the robot vacuum support to HomeKit, which means that it will be a supported category in the Home app in tvOS 18.3 going forward. So that would mean tvOS 18.4 would 
have it as well and you can always set it up for automation and not just any random vacuum is going to be able to support this feature it's only going to be those that support HomeKit, of course and hopefully this gets adopted mainly and becomes mainstream in terms of the release notes for tvOS 18.3 you can see when we go here it tells us that uh, there are no new release notes for this update but you know apple does every so often release security updates for different softwares and tvOS is no exception so you can see previously with tvOS 18.2 you know for apple tv hd and all apple tv 4k models you can see here when it comes to cve entries for this update they release a number of them that had to do with uh, integrity right there there's a uh, crash reporter among others and kernel which is pretty a serious one one among webkit as well and there's actually a lot of security patches that were released so keep an eye out on this page so that you know what apple has resolved for the update and in terms of when the next update is going to be coming out officially you can expect tvOS 18.3 to officially release on january 27th which is next week monday if there is no issues found within the code or with different beta testers as they report their findings with this build that we have today and then if that's the case and nothing serious is found then tvOS 18.3 will officially come out on monday the 27th and i'll be covering it too here and i'll be you know checking the always just to see if there's any other further changes and if i find any then i'll definitely let you know but other than that when it comes to this update you know it feels smooth operate operating system is good you know the apple tv app continuously gets new shows and one of the new ones i think which they added is uh, i think this one the this one what's the name of it i'm not the one that watched it but yeah severance season two recently came to the apple tv they made a big fuss about it i'm not sure why but yeah it's actually number one on the apple tv and there's a list that showed that you know the earnings of the different apple tv original shows such as ted lasso that has grossed over 600 million and pretty soon after they release a few more series to probably gross over a billion but that's besides the fact that you know this update hasn't yet got the categories in the apple tv app as what ipad os had anticipated to get but on the apple tv it's not yet here not sure whether tv os 18.4 will bring it here but that's about it for me when it comes to this update let me know what you think about it and if you are going to be updating your device the moment it comes out officially now that's about it for me stay safe and i'll see you in the next video